It has been quite some time since we last checked in on our favourite metal-loving German. A man who has been harassed more than possibly anyone else on the internet. Though he does most often bring it on himself. When we last left him, people were still coming to his house to annoy him. He was still being harassed. His property was still being attacked and damaged. And not only that, but now... The authorities were coming after him. Has any of that changed? <laughs> no. No. No, it has not. It's got worse. It's got a lot worse. Dragon Lord Part 3. But before we get into the video, it is in fact your boy, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has taken gaming by storm and has brought a true console level experience to gaming on the move. Here you will conquer raids, dungeons, campaign battles and bosses and my personal favourite mode, the PvP Arena. In addition, there are hundreds of artefacts and buffs with over 600 unique champions to choose from so you can fight your battles the way you want. The first time I ever got stuck in Raid was on stage 9 of the Dragon's Lair. I just could not get past it. Oh my god! So I decided to leave for a while and level up my team a bit. But I got a little bit carried away and I completely forgot about the Dragon and by the time I came back I was extremely overpowered and I gave him an absolute slapping. In August, Raid has got the Forge Pass Season 3 with a limited edition artifact set and Raid is also bringing out some awesome champion skins for Madame Ceres. On top of that, there is some big news. Later this month, Death Knight is finally becoming a legendary champion and I can't wait to see how Ultimate Death Knight turns out. So, if you want a starting boost in Raid Shadow Legends, then hit the link down below or scan the QR code on the screen to get unique bonuses worth $30, which include 200,000 silver, an XP booster, an energy refill, an ancient shard, and the epic champion Aina, so you can have a great champion as soon as you get into the game. These rewards are only available to new players and only for the next 30 days, and you can find these rewards here in your inbox. Before we begin, I just want to say that I do not support, encourage, or condone going to people's houses to harass them. You know, just a little disclaimer there before we begin. Now, if you want the full story so far on one of the biggest lol cows in the history of the internet, then I would advise you go and watch part one and part two of my Dragon Lord saga. But, for those that can't be bothered, I will give a brief rundown of all of the events so far. Dragon Lord, whose real name is Reiner Winkler, is a live streamer from Germany who has about one of the worst personalities you could ever come across. He is arrogant, he lies all the time, he treats his audience like shit, he blames everyone but himself for his problems, you know, pretty much your standard live streamer. And, as a result of his behaviour, he became the target of a lot of trolls, which is pretty standard fare for the internet. However, the trolling of Dragon Lord got taken to the extreme. He has been hacked and catfished multiple times, he has had his streams brigaded, and all of the other usual types of internet trolling that you get. But, one day after trolls made a threatening phone call to Dragon Lord's sister, Dragon Lord did something so stupid that would change his life forever. He made a video challenging the trolls to come to his house and fight him. And in the video, he gave out his full address. Dragon Lord's house is colloquially named the Dragon Bunker, and it's a house that his family inherited after his father died. 
However, his mother and sister left the house since, allegedly, they couldn't cope with living with Dragonlord. So, Dragonlord had the house all to himself. However, he did not take care of it at all. The place is a complete pigsty with damp, rot and trash all over it. It looks more like a post-apocalyptic wasteland, never mind a house. He also did not take care of any of the surrounding buildings, and eventually the roof of his barn caved in. As a result of giving out his full address, Dragonlord's trolls, who he calls his haters, invented something called the Dragon Game, which is also called the Pilgrimage, where they would go to Dragonlord's house and fuck with him. And there are hundreds hundreds of videos of people going to his house and messing with him, doing anything from smashing his windows to firing fireworks at his house to just yelling insults at him and trying to provoke him. It even led all the way up to Dragonlord's trolls holding a literal festival outside of his house that had to be broken up by the police. This led to the police constantly being called to Dragonlord's property, as well as all of the residents of his village being constantly harassed with all of the noise and drama coming from the Dragon Bunker. On top of this, lots of loud groups of young men were descending on the village almost daily to come and fuck with Dragonlord. Basically, the villagers were long sick of Dragonlord and wanted him gone. Eventually, the German authorities themselves stepped in to try and deal with the Dragonlord problem. So, he was facing a legal battle on two fronts. The first was under some weird German law where in order to be a live streamer that gets over a certain view count, I think it's over 500 active viewers, you need a special broadcasting license. And Dragonlord did not have this license. And he refused to get one. And, despite receiving several cease and desist letters from the authorities telling him to stop streaming, he refused. So, they gave him fines. And then Dragonlord refused to pay the fines. Dragonlord ended up owing several thousand euros in unpaid fines, and that amount just kept going up because he kept refusing to pay them. The second legal battle was all of the assaults that he committed. There were very many times where trolls had come to Dragonlord's house and he lost his temper, which you can't exactly blame him for. But the problem is uh, Dragonlord does not have a very good control of his temper. And because he doesn't really have a good control of his temper, a lot of the pilgrimages to his house end up with him assaulting people. In our previous videos, we talked about Reiner's various home defence techniques, ranging from big sticks to just simply throwing stones at people that came to his house. But since then, he has evolved to using a garden hose to ward off visitors. And even being in a wheelchair will not spare you from Dragonlord's wrath. So, as a result, Dragonlord was also facing assault charges, and all of that is where we last left Dragonlord. And since then, a lot of stuff has happened. Ah, uh, a lot. Including some pretty major changes in Dragonlord's life, big enough to warrant a part 3 video. So, I've had people who are knowledgeable in the Dragon game provide me with some lists of major events that have happened since the last video. And the lists I was given were 11 and 16 pages long. So, um, I'm not 
going to cover the entire lists. Instead, I'm going to just focus on some of the more major events from them, but still try to give you a timeline of everything you've missed. So, to start, Reiner was catfished again, and the catfish arranged a date where she and Dragonlord would meet up for a bit of the old rumpy-pumpy, but instead Reiner was greeted by two guys who covered him in Coca-Cola and flour. Another thing that happened was, remember Dragonlord's Pornhub account? Well, that got hacked and all of his videos were deleted. I have mixed feelings on the subject. One thing that is definitely, definitely worth a mention is Dragonlord decided to embark on an artistic endeavour. He decided to become a rapper, and he released his first song on YouTube titled Skr Skr, or Skir Skir, I have no idea how the hell you pronounce it, but it actually performed extremely well, though I don't think it was because the song was good. I'm not going to include the music or the video, you know, just in case I get copyright claimed, but go and, go and watch it. It's, uh, it's an experience. Then we get into Dragonlord's first assault conviction, which was actually due to an older video that we've already shown before, where Dragonlord attempts to pepper spray a troll that came to his house. Nichts getan, du wirfst mit mir auf Bomben, Alter! Du sprichst mit Pfefferspray, jetzt hab ich's auf Video, danke schön! As a result of this conviction, Reiner was sentenced to 7 months of probation, 50 hours of community service, and he was assigned a probation officer. So, luckily, he wouldn't be sentenced to prison as long as he didn't commit any more crimes. Yeah, we can... We can get into that later. Another fun little fact, uh, Reiner did not actually complete his 50 hours of community service. Not because he refused to do it, he actually tried to do it. But all of the businesses and locations that carry out community service all refused to take him. <laughs> because, because they didn't want to be targeted by Dragon Lord's trolls. Shortly after this, Reiner was given another fine of 2,500 euros from the Bavarian State Centre for new media because he was still streaming without a streaming licence after they had told him to stop. Which, let, let's all be completely real, is an absolutely bullshit law for a government to have. But this only further added to the huge amount of money that Reiner owed in fines. During one of the very many visits to Dragonlord's house, someone actually managed to run past Dragonlord and into his property and actually tried to get inside his house, but fortunately the door was locked. Reiner then shuts the gate and actually seals the guy inside the property and won't let him leave. Both the guy and Reiner ended up filing charges against each other. Around this time, Reiner had a stroke of luck. The German law that required streamers to have a streaming license was actually changed. You now only needed a license if you steadily got over 20,000 live viewers, which Reiner was nowhere near. Meaning, he would now no longer receive any fines for streaming without a license. But we aren't sure if the previous fines are null and void or if he still has to pay them. And Dragonlord's trolls aren't all that bad. They started to feel bad for the fact that Dragonlord was in his 30s and still a virgin, after they had put him through so much. So, allegedly, they all chipped in and got Reiner a Lady of the Night to finally do the deed with him. Allegedly, she was a drug addict and a transsexual, but it doesn't matter, still counts. Also, yes, there are pictures. No, I'm not showing them. It's for your own good. Then Reiner once again found himself in front of a judge facing another charge. This time for bodily harm after he punched two guys that came to his house and started making fun of his dead dad. Reiner claimed it was in self-defence, but the court disagreed, and during sentencing, the judge decided to give Dragonlord 
two options. The first option was double probation. Now, Reiner was already on probation for the previous assault, and the way probation usually works is, if you fuck up again, boom, jail. But instead, the judge wanted to give him double probation. The idea was that instead of going to jail, the courts would be able to implement very strict probation conditions upon Dragonlord to force him to turn his life around. So the conditions of this sentence were, Dragonlord would receive training in IT so he could get a job, this training was going to be provided and paid for by the court, and Reiner could even live on welfare while he was getting the training to help him get a job. But the conditions of this sentence were Reiner would have to sell his house and move out of his village and he would need to delete his YouTube channel. Since the courts saw his YouTube channel and the fact that everyone knew where he lived as the root of all of his problems. Dragonlord refused the deal. Meaning... He was now risking going to prison. Also, while all of this was happening, Reiner allegedly caught another charge. So because Dragonlord just wasn't taking care of his property and essentially turning it into a dump, people started treating it like one and basically started bringing all of their rubbish to the Dragon Bunker to throw it over the fence. <laughs> Uh, ihr seht gerade, was hier abgeht. Das ist der Grund, warum ich das Video hier mache und der Grund, warum ich mich mal wieder tierisch über die Polizei und deren Verhalten abfacke. Um, denn letzten Endes ist genau das. As a result of these guys dumping the tires onto Dragonlord's property, Dragonlord called the police to report the incident. And allegedly, when the police turned up, Reiner told the police to remove the tires from his property. The police refused and told Reiner to sort it out himself. The police, by this point, were fucking sicky Dragonlord. If anything, they fucking hated him. This exchange, however, resulted in Reiner saying some insults to the police. Reiner then takes his security camera footage of the police and uploads it, while talking a lot of shit about the police and insulting them further in the video. And... It turns out that insulting people in Germany is actually a crime. So Dragonlord caught yet another charge. And the cops were not the only ones getting sick of Dragonlord's shit. The villagers had long been sick of all the trouble he was bringing to the village. I mean, honestly, the villagers of Alt Schauerberg fucking hated Reiner. And they wanted rid of him because he made their lives hell. But, unfortunately, they couldn't exactly go in there and physically remove him from his house. So, instead, the community of Emskirchen, that is the district that Dragonlord's village is in, made an official decree for the whole area, where I believe the way that this works is it becomes an enforceable law for the whole area, but only for a set period of time. This decree forbade visitors as well as residents from breaching the peace, insulting anyone, or provoking anyone. Even though this applied to everyone in the area, it was obviously aimed at Dragonlord and his visitors. This decree was supposed to last from June to September of 2021. However, the decree was then extended until December of 2021. And you would think that this decree being in place would have, in some aspect, reduced the amount of people coming to the village. But it had very little effect. Oh, no, not really. Yeah, clear, make this really. This is mine, no? Oh, shit. Oh, 
Und weiter. Und weiter! Du bist ein Wichser! Ein hörnloses Arschloch! Du reißt die Fresse auf! Du hast kein Hirn! Du meinst, du kannst nicht mehr... Du warum zuckst du so? Doch! <lacht> <lacht> oh! Oh! But now we arrive to one of the biggest events in all of Dragon Lord lore. Reinar was now back in front of a judge again on multiple charges. This time it was... More assault charges. During one assault, he got someone in a headlock and punched him multiple times. In another, he threw a brick at someone. And in another, he hit someone with a flashlight. Reiner also thought it would be a really good idea to turn up to court wearing a dirty and ripped Slipknot t-shirt. Since he was already on probation, Reiner knew that this time he was definitely fucked. So, he decided to preempt a few things by giving in to the judge's previous demands. It was announced in court that Reiner had sold his house. He had sold the Dragon Bunker. He told the judge that he wanted to go on a massive road trip, which meant his haters wouldn't be able to find him since he would be on the move all the time. The judge, however, was not happy with Dragon Lord's plans. The judge told him to stop the madness and just end his internet career. Because as long as he was on the internet, all of this would continue. So the judge said if he just deleted his channel and just left the internet, then after this trial, he would walk. Dragon Lord once again refused. He said he wanted to keep streaming and making content, but he wanted to do it in a way where it would be harder for him to be targeted. The judge was very pissed off at Reiner's response. The judge was also getting sick of trolls outside and inside the courtroom fucking with the trial. And even though the trial was supposed to last for two days, after just one day of witnesses and a bunch of fuckery, the judge just went, you know what, I've, I've, I've seen and heard enough. Enough with all of this shit. The judge then found Dragon Lord guilty and sentenced him to two years in prison. So, was that the end of Dragon Lord? Nope. <laughs> Not just yet. Dragon Lord's defence lawyer immediately submitted an appeal, and the way that sentences work in Germany is sentences are usually carried out when they are considered final. So, since Dragon Lord wanted to appeal his sentence, it wasn't considered as final. So, he was still free while the appeal was being carried out. But, if the appeal failed, then his sentence would be considered as final, and off to prison he goes. But, for the moment, he was still free. But, Dragon Lord's lawyers weren't the only ones to submit an appeal. The prosecution submitted an appeal as well, because they thought that two years was too lenient. Remember what I told you about prosecutors. After this, Dragon Lord went back to the Dragon Bunker and carried on streaming. Even though he had sold the house, he was permitted to still live there until the government could find him new housing. But Dragon Lord already had the money from the sale, and he used the money to buy a blue Ford Ranger pickup truck for around €40,000. This was obviously in preparation for his planned road trip. Dragon Lord was supposed to leave the Dragon Bunker in February of this year. But he said that the community had not yet found him a new place to live and he has already spent all of the money from the house sale. The mayor of Amskirchen then made a public statement saying that it was never part of the deal to find Dragon Lord a new house. That was his job. He sold the house, he got the money, now it was time for him to get the fuck out. Then, on February the 28th, 2022, 
Dragon Lord left the Dragon Bunker forever. While being escorted by two police officers and a bailiff. He then uploaded a video to his YouTube channel saying that he would now begin his epic live-streamed road trip around Germany and the haters will never be able to find him. He was found within a couple of hours. Then, an interactive Google map was created that could be updated by the community, showing all the spottings and sightings and current locations of Dragon Lord, who was rather easy to spot driving around in his big blue Ford Ranger. A little later in March, workers could be seen at the Dragon Bunker clearing out all of the junk and crap from the property. Some of the trolls also managed to sneak inside the property and get some pictures of things that were left behind, like a tube of anal lube in a cupboard. One header even managed to find old childhood drawings done by Dragon Lord's sister. And he took the drawings, allegedly not out of badness, but because he thought it would be quite shitty if these get thrown out. So, I know all of you are curious. Who were all these workers at the property clearing everything out? And most importantly, who actually bought the Dragon Bunker? Who would willingly buy this absolute pigsty that was not just falling apart, but was a giant beacon that attracted every shitlord in Germany? Who the hell would actually buy this? The district of Amskirchen. The district itself bought the house. Everyone in the district wanted Dragon Lord gone so badly that the district itself bought the house. Basically, the local government of Amskirchen knew that no one in their right mind would buy this dump, so they stepped in and did it themselves. So technically, the government itself <laughs> bought Dragon Lord's house just to get rid of him. And the community supported it. That is how bad everyone wanted rid of Dragon Lord. Now, even though the Dragon Bunker was empty and Dragon Lord wasn't there anymore, haters were still turning up to break in and film the house and cause more damage. Basically, the villagers were still getting pissed off by people coming to the village and they knew that as long as this holy site, this sacred temple was still standing, people would continue to make the pilgrimage. So the local government, who were now the owner of the property, demolished it. They demolished the Dragon Bunker. This place that had seen so much joy, happiness, pain and sorrow, but had caused great annoyance to the entire village, was wiped from the map. The Dragon Bunker was no more and had been reduced to a pile of rubble. This holy site had been destroyed. The Dragon Bunker had fallen. This is clearly one of the worst things to ever happen in Germany. Also, after Dragon Lord had left and the Dragon Bunker was demolished, the official Facebook page for his village uploaded this. <laughs> That's their page banner. I don't know why I love this image so much. It's, it gets funnier the longer you look at it. And also, allegedly, uh, the villagers even planned to throw a party to celebrate the fact that they had finally got rid of Dragon Lord. So, Dragon Lord was now homeless and living in his Ford Ranger, which he continued to do his live streams from, just driving around Germany and having a grand old time. Since, even though his location got shared a lot, he was usually long gone by the time the trolls got there. So, things seemed all rosy and lovely, however, Dragon Lord's charges were still looming over him. And soon, he was back in court again for his appeal. Now, his previous time in court was a little bit crazy, but this time was an absolute shit show. Reiner turns up to court again, still not appropriately dressed, but at least it's better than an old ripped Slipknot t-shirt. 
And the point of this trial was his appeal. So Reiner's lawyers were trying to get him out of jail time while the prosecutors wanted to increase Reiner's sentence from two years to two years and three months. And it wasn't just Reiner who turned up outside the court. There were a lot of haters who all brought a lot of alcohol and essentially started a street party outside the courthouse. In their attempts to get Dragon Lord a longer sentence, the prosecution had called further witnesses to the trial, and their main witness was someone who had been present at a pilgrimage when Dragon Lord allegedly assaulted him. And while the man was giving his testimony, the judge noticed that the man seemed a little bit wavy, and he was uh, slurring his words a little bit. It's because he was drunk. Because right before he went into the courthouse, he chugged almost an entire bottle of what seems to be peppermint schnapps as a dare. After the witness had given his evidence, he went back outside the courthouse and started shouting, swearing and causing a bit of a disturbance. So the police asked him to leave and he refused. So he was arrested. The key witness in the appeal gave his testimony drunk and then was arrested for being drunk and disorderly outside the trial. So later that evening, the judge read out his ruling. One year of probation, no prison. So even though Reiner was finally handed a prison sentence, he managed to appeal his way out of it. However, the probation came with some conditions. Reiner had to pay €3,000 to a children's charity, he had to go to psychotherapy, he has to report his location to the police, and he had to contact some sort of charity group that deal with online bullying. The prosecutors then lodged something called a revision, which, putting it very basically, is like a further appeal, because they really wanted Dragon Lord in prison. But... In March of this year, they withdrew their revision, meaning Dragon Lord's sentence was now final. One year of probation, plus all of the other things I mentioned earlier, no prison time. So Dragon Lord continues travelling Germany in his truck and streaming while he does it. And people are still playing the game of tracking him down, which they successfully did a few times. However, Dragon Lord was then told by the government that he had to do an MPU. An MPU is like a second, way more advanced driver's test that some people have to do if the government suspects you are not healthy enough to be driving on the road. For example, very old people or people diagnosed with disabilities are usually asked to do an MPU. An MPU involves talking to a psychologist, drug tests, physical capability tests, vision tests, motor skills, things like that. And if you fail your MPU, then the state can revoke your license. But the state can also revoke your license if you don't turn up for your MPU. Dragon Lord did not turn up for his MPU. So, the state revoked his license. So since Dragon Lord did not have a driver's license, his truck that he was pretty much living in was impounded. So Dragon Lord had lost his place to sleep and his mode of transport. Since he couldn't legally drive his truck, he had to sell it and use the money to stay in motels. But he ended up getting blacklisted by the motel chain Motel One. And he was blacklisted because he's Dragon Lord. (laughs) And they didn't want haters turning up to their motels to fuck with him. Allegedly, now, this has not been confirmed. Reiner managed to use some of the money from the car sale to buy a really cheap house. And that is where he is currently living and streaming from. I was fine to talk about the Dragon Bunker because Reiner gave that one out himself and everyone in Germany knew where it was, but this location I'm not going to talk about and just move on. But now we get into the latest happenings with Dragon Lord. Now, 
please be aware that as of right now, a lot of this stuff is just allegations or rumours, because you know how the internet is. And a lot of the details are not 100% clear, so everything I'm about to say should be taken with a huge pinch of salt. But first, let's talk a little bit about the background that built up to Dragonlord's current situation. A while ago, Dragonlord allegedly started a porn blog. It was a blog where he would write sexual erotic stories. And it wasn't even a private one, it was like a public blog that anyone could go on. He even used his real Dragonlord username and everything. The blog became a bit of a meme with all the haters who would all make fun of how badly written all the stories were and how Dragonlord would self-insert himself into all of the stories as some Chad McShagger. Around this time, he also made a porn forum which he also used his Dragonlord name on. Allegedly, he posted advertisements for sex and stuff like that on it and some people are theorising that he made this forum as a sort of dating website or something like that. Haders spent a lot of time just laughing at the stories on his porn blog. Apparently, Dragonlord wrote some fictional stories, but then wrote others presenting them as things he actually did when they were just clearly made up. There was also another story he had written based on Primi Nocta. You know, that Old law where the Lord gets to sleep with any bride on her first night of marriage, you know, we've all seen Braveheart, basically that. And this story was technically a rape story. Now, why am I telling you about that? Well, we can get into that in a minute. It turns out that sometime later, Dragon Lord's new house was raided and all of his electronic devices were seized. Now, that part we do know for a fact. It was reported in the press, and Dragonlord even confirmed it himself in streams. So speculations started to run wild about why this could be. Was it CP? Was it something else? Well, we don't actually know specifically. But with some of the information that's out there, we can try to paint a picture. Just a little bit of uh, legal stuff that you should all know. Dirty videos featuring animals and pornographic content that is violent is illegal in Germany. Uh, it's illegal to make it, it's illegal to share it, etc, etc, which I know, <laughs> Germans, I was shocked too. And it seems that someone had reported Dragon Lord's porn blog and the cops homed in on the Primi Nocta story because it was classed as violent. As a result of that, the cops decided to raid Dragonlord for producing such material. Another reason that Dragonlord had caught the attention of the police is because he was running two pornographic websites that did not have an age verification pop-up. You know that little pop-up that comes up and says you must click yes to confirm that you're over 18, you know, that little hurdle that has stopped literally no one from accessing the website. Well, Dragonlord's websites did not have those, which the German government then deems as you making pornographic content available to children because it didn't have that little pop-up. Both of Dragonlord's websites ended up being deleted. There have been allegations of CP and rumours about that involving Dragonlord for a while, but I wasn't able to actually find anything concrete. Even in the articles I found talking about the raid, the police said specifically they were conducting an investigation into animal and violent sexual content. They didn't mention anything at all about CP. And allegedly, Reiner is very nervous about the situation and when he was talking about the raid, he mentioned some videos a friend of his gave him years ago. But the point is, we don't know all of the details. I'm just giving you some factual information alongside a bunch of rumours and speculation. We have no idea if any of those are correct, so it's best to just sit back and wait to hear the results of the police investigation. So this is where we currently are in the life of Dragonlord. 
And the last video I'd done had me feeling very sad at the end of it. And I truly thought that this story could not get any worse. But, <laughs> looks like I was wrong. The little human part of me feels bad. But at the same time... Now, something that should be explained. A lot of the English viewers don't know much about Dragonlord's personality because they don't speak German. So they have no idea what he's saying or what type of person he is. But I can tell you right now that he is an arsehole. He is a complete arsehole. He's arrogant, vindictive, he's snide, he blames other people for his problems, he keeps calling everyone stupid when he's the one that's in the wrong. Just ask any German. Ask any German and they'll confirm it. But here we get to the quandary of this situation. No, you should never go to someone's house and harass them IRL. But when the person in question is constantly making content, literally challenging people to come and do just that, like, after a few years, it starts to become very hard to feel bad. Because that initial address video way back when, that wasn't the first time. He has done it dozens of times. One of the most notable times was when COVID dropped and Dragonlord thought that no one would be able to come to his house because of the travel restrictions. So he issued another challenge and you'll never guess what happened. The Dragonlord story is pretty much a tragedy that has some funny parts. My main issue is I want to feel bad for him. I want him to get better, but he continually, constantly brings this on himself. Even in court where twice, twice the judge gave him an out just for him to refuse both times. I thought that it might finally be over after the fall of the dragon bunker, but no, nope, he just keeps fucking up and keeps blaming literally everyone but himself. I can already tell you what the future holds. He's not going to stop streaming, his new house is going to get doxxed, and all of this will start again. And Dragon Lord will most likely end up in prison. He has the power to make all of it stop, but... It is what it is. Do I have a spider in my fucking beard? I walked through a web earlier. I felt, I felt myself walk through a web and I just felt something moving in my beard. Is he living in my beard? Oh, don't tell me. I think I might have killed him. Oh, well. <laughs> my beard's a spider graveyard now. Who cares? It's Count Dankula on YouTube. Everybody subscribe.